Hello, friends. Today I have a very Christmas merry mood that I would love to share with you. Let's draw this wonderful Santa ox, the symbol of the upcoming year 2021, the year of the metallic ox. So I suppose this will be a very symbolic and beautiful drawing. For this project, we will need a pencil and eraser and markers. If you like, you can use other materials of your choice. I chose markers. To begin, let's mark the layouts of the canvas to decide where the ox will be standing. The half oval will be a snow hillock. Next, mark the highest spot where our drawing ends. Here will be the ox's horns. Next, let's sketch the head and the muzzle itself. Later on, we will add details, like this. Because we are drawing a cartoon ox, the body will be much smaller than the head. It will look very cute. In one hand, our ox will be holding a Christmas toy. We will place two buttons on his coat, make them round and big. Great. Now draw the legs. Our ox will be wearing cute boots, like this. I am sure that you will succeed. Erase all unnecessary and don't forget to brush away all scraps of the eraser. Our ox is holding a Christmas toy that later he will place on the Christmas tree. Let's write 2021 on the Christmas toy. Draw the second hoof and add fur to the coat. Otherwise, our ox can get cold. But with a warm coat, he is not afraid of the frost. Remember to add the buttons and let's move on to the muzzle. Drawing cute ears, make them large enough. You can draw the ox any way you like. Your ox can be without a Christmas toy, maybe ride a sledge instead, or maybe hold a present in his hands. Now the most interesting. Move into the muzzle. Draw it big and round, then a nose, and let's add a smile too. Our Santa is happy because New Year is very, very close. The eyes will be black like charcoal. Don't forget to leave out space for the highlights later on. We will not contour the highlights, leaving them white. This will add appearance to the eyes. Now, add in little brows. Draw them upwards, like this. If you draw them downwards, the ox will look sad. So please, lift them. See how happy he is? Okay. Next, add in a fringe. You will manage, don't worry. Keep on trying. You can always pause the video and catch up with me. Now, moving on to the fur hat. Place one side of it behind the ear. I drew it a little bit too long, but no problem to fix that. And over here goes the cap of the hood with a fluffy pom-pom on the end. On both sides, add spruce branches. And of course, all oxes have horns, so let's do them too. Now, let's take the markers or any other instruments that you have and start coloring in. I chose this color and begin with filling the background. Remember, there is no need to hurry, so please take your time with it. 
color in one direction. Don't touch the parts that are to be other colors. Don't forget to comment below what materials you chose to work with. Did you know that on Christmas Eve, every wish you make will come true? Take a piece of paper with your wish written on it, and when the charms are striking 12, burn it. But please, ask your parents to help you. Leave out the space where the leaves are. If you can't keep up with me, pause the video. We are doing well. This project can be done with water paint pencils. I love watercolor pencils because they can be blurred with water, just like real watercolor paint. Don't forget to skip the leaves. This is going to be a great present. Comment below for who you are making this present. Well, almost done. Now, let's move on to the snow. I took a gray marker and contour the snow hill. Later, we will add another tone to it. Never forget about the shadows under the ox. Doing good. Now time for the purple marker. Use the thinner side for small details and spaces. Remember to hold the sheet so it doesn't slip away. Good job. Almost done. And the rest part of the snow, I decided to color in a light blue tone. By working in circles, we mixed together two colors, giving a smooth gradient. And highlight with gray the snow hill in the end, so we can divide the sky and the snow. Now, Let's add the shadows. Well, time for the Christmas leaves. I took green. Using the thin part, move from the center to the sides. Fill them in. The second, the third, and the fourth leaf done. Next, take a darker green and repeat. Add in a little bit of yellow, as if sunshine is coming through, and the dark green. Moving from the center to the sides, See how pretty and fluffy our leaves turned out? Good job! In the center, I will add a brown color to mark the branches. Great! It looks realistic. If any spaces are not filled, go back and add a little bit of color. I am using light blue to fill in the gaps. Well, almost done. Be sure to fill in all the spaces left behind. Now, it's time for the ox himself. Begin with red. Of course, you can choose any other color of your wish. Be careful near the buttons. Please comment below what color you chose for the costume. The pants are red. And the hat also we will color in a red beautiful color.
the boots themselves will be the same color as the ox's horns. So using a dark brown, later on we will show the contours. One horn, second horn, Now time for the shadows. Don't hurry. Very beautiful shadows. Now time for the hooves. And the same color, the fringe. Good. Now, moving on to the muzzle, filling in, be precise, careful near the eyes. Very soon, our ox will be beautiful, fully colored and ready to be gifted. Why not use the same marker to smudge hard edges on the boots? Working in circular moves, but don't press too hard on the markers, because it can break. Okay, such wonderful boots. And now, time to do the Christmas gift. It's the most painstaking moment, so please take your time. Using the sharp end, work the tiny details through. Carefully contour 2021. Well, what a wonderful job. Move on to the horns and the buttons. But remember, the shadows inside will be a different color. Recap the markers thoughtfully. Don't let them dry away. A little shadow added to the muzzle and the ears. The horns and to the pants. Use a lighter color for the muzzle itself. Very soon our ox will be finished. The inside of the ears I decided to make pink, a pretty pretty pink. Fill them in. Using a dark brown, let's show the shadows. Shadows always give a realistic feeling to the drawing. Later on, we will blur the shadows. Perfect. Check that all shadows are in place. And by using a lighter tone marker, smudge the harsh lines. Blur them a bit. Almost done. Good job. Using a gray marker, show that the fur on the coat is fluffy. Repeat it on the sleeves and on the bottom part of the coat. Don't forget to add a little bit on the hat. If you wish, you can add light blue. Highlight the 2021 with a gold marker. Just like this. And the string. Don't forget the string. Moving on. Please pay attention. When doing the eyes, don't forget to leave white spaces for the highlights in the future. 
This will make the eyes appear to sparkle. First circle, then fill in. And the second eye. First circle, then fill in. Well, my ox is looking at a branch over here, so I suppose he will place it on there later. At the buttonholes. Don't forget to contour the coat, contouring the muzzle, the ears, and any other parts of your choice. Now circle the buttons. Almost done. There is a legend about two poor women that wished to get married but had no dory. So they were very deeply sad on Christmas night and didn't know what to do. When Santa saw this, he decided to gift them with a few chervonets and put them into their stockings. In the morning, the ladies found money in their stockings that were left to dry overnight. And how happy they were! Now, they were able to get married. That is how a tradition began to spread and we have hanging stockings in which presents are placed by Santa. We are almost done. A great job. Our pretty ox is all ready. You can now put it in a frame if you wish. So friends, Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.